It's early afternoon on Thursday the 25th of May. As you can see behind me, it's an absolutely glorious day here. Uh, it's actually quite nice. There's a nice cool breeze blowing in, uh, but temperatures really warming up after a couple of days where it's not been so warm, been a bit damp, a bit grey. Um, pond behind me contains the Kaku that were released uh, a couple of weeks ago now. Um, this pond is absolutely teeming with fry and it was the largest uh, fry release of the season so far. Um, off memory, there's something like seven bags of fry released into it. Um, they took a while to get going, but as you'll see uh, in the video I've just shot in them, of them, um, they're growing really well now and really starting to take off. And the numbers of survivors are, and is really, really very high. Um, also this morning, um, as I think I said, we were going to do over the next couple of days, um, we just released out fry from the, the spawnings which took place last week, um, the Kaku Sankei and Shoa. Um, the Sankei in particular was a very exciting uh, release for everybody, um, and I'll show you that a little bit later and you'll understand why it was exciting then. Um, so that's it really for the next couple of days, we continue doing selections or restart, or continue, yeah, continue selections. Um, and obviously start feeding these fry here uh, that have been released out today. Um, yeah, so that's it. Just, just hoping for the, some good weather to continue like it is today. It's Thursday 25th of May, uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning. And it's a bit of a momentous day today, not only because we're putting the Sanke Fry out, um, but more important than that, we're not only putting them out, we have a new record for the number of bags of fry that have ever been put out here at Perling Koi Farm. Um, this is the ninth bag of Sanke Fry that have gone out to the mud pond. Um, the previous record being eight bags of fry. Obviously, it's not scientific in terms of numbers, um, but obviously they're always done to an approximation. And I have to film this especially because Scott's not here today. Scott's in England, and while three Brits play on his farm here in Louisiana, he's he's playing in our England. So, and I'm sure he'll be very excited um, as we and Bill obviously is here. For this to be the ninth bag of fry that's going out, let's say a new record here at Perny Koi Farm. So these are ready to go, so we'll take those out and release them to the fry pond. After what turned into a, it was pretty chilly and windy yesterday, um, but it certainly cleared all the rain away by the look of it. But it's actually very pleasant weather today, isn't it, Bill? Very nice and cool. But well, not cool, warm cool. but. No humidity. Yeah. Nice dry. But nice fresh air. Yeah. So these are going to one of the, the large ponds. These are half acre ponds, Bill, yeah? Half acre, yeah. So one of the larger half acre ponds at the back of the farm. Um, as you'll see in a moment when we get there, at the moment, far from full. So just passing by. You can see the, the lovely bird life we have here in Louisiana. Bill tells me, Bill the other Bill Oddy, Bill Oddy McGurk, Bill Oddy McGurk. McGurk, for many people, I say this little chap, he's pretty smart, oh, where are we, he stands on the floating airline, the little git, and takes the fry off of the surface, but 
What? Oh, turtle. Another animals we encounter here on the farm. A red ear terrapin turtle, as they call them here. So this is the pond that they're going into. When this is full, it comes up pretty much as far as this, this pipe. We can see the inlet pipe here. They'll be turned on shortly once the fry be released. Water will be turned on, air turned on. And this pond will then start to fill up over the course of the next days and weeks to its maximum level of the overflow pipe. So in the absence of Scott being here today, I have a very, very important job. Um, and lots of people ask what this was when we, we filmed the last release of Fry, um, what went into the bag. It's actually just a small pinch of, of Fry food um, to send the fry on their way. So there we go. I say Scott normally does that, but I, I've been promoted today to bag feeder. Bag feed junker. <laughs> So, let's see. so this is the ninth bag of fry, and these have been very full bags of fry, I have to say, um, compared to the bags of fry perhaps we saw on, you saw in the previous video when we released. There's way more, or there appears to be way more in these bags. And Maureen did ask me to point out, it is actually very scientific, uh, the way that she measures the, the fry into the bags. All over the place. Yeah, literally at the moment, everywhere you look, um, there are already tiny sanky fry swimming, and they've been released literally all over the all over the the pond. So here we go, the ninth bag of fry. Rough approximation, Bill. Number very difficult. Two hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay. So a real good number from that sanky. Bill estimating two hundred thousand fry have been released to the pond today. So obviously this is a fry from a female that I've written lots about um, since I first sort of encountered her last November. So I'm really interested to see how these, these Sankey turn out because I uh, really do like aspects of, of the female. And I'm really hoping that as Scott said I'd done by adding that male, I haven't ruined the whole spawning, but there we go. <laughs> So we haven't released, I'm hoping we haven't released 200,000 pieces of absolute junk to the fry pond. Well, I don't think that's a spoiled spawning. <laughs> it's an education. <laughs> no, so. The selections might be spoiled, but the spawning is not spoiled. <laughs> so there we go. So, let's see, I can't possibly pick them up on the camera at the moment as they swim in the fry pond, um, but all over. Wherever you look, you can see tiny little slivers of glass swimming around in the pond. There must be lots because I can see them. <laughs> if you didn't hear that, Bill said there must be lots because even he can see them. Inside the holding net where these fry have been, these fry have literally been eating out, out of house and home. Um, when we fed them, you could see them drop down off the surface uh, for maybe 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, they'd be up on the surface, desperate for food again. Um, so the one thing these fry are now going to do, hopefully, is eat and eat and eat whatever food they can find here in the fry pond, whether it be the natural food or the daily artificial food, starting off with this big can that Bill is now giving them. Many people have asked about what this food is, and I'll repeat again, it's made by a company called Ziegler, American company. Although when I read the packet, they tell me it's available all around the world. So just Google Ziegler and you'll find it, I guess. Here it is. Comes in various sizes. Um, this being 100 to 150 microns in size. And then 
when we feed the fry during the day in the mornings, they are now on granular of the same company's food. So air pump switched on. The air of vital necessity here for the fry. Water, weather gets very humid, very hot. So additional air essential to, for their well-being and keeping the water, keeping the water moving. So that's one of the ways it's done. And obviously the second way it's done is by the constant flow uh, of fresh water that comes in from the well. Uh, comes in at constant temperature. A well water that runs through on a constant flow through basis. What does, temperature does this come out at normally? It comes out at constant 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees C. So during the summer that's cooling the pond down effectively. Yeah. Um, keeping the temperature nice or down. The stop ponds it. probably in, in the height of summer maybe get up to about 84, which is what, 30, 30 degrees C. What's, um, what's interesting though, isn't it, is that, so now I've experienced in Japan, those fry will go into temperatures that you can't believe fish will swim around in. Mm. Uh, they come into the margins when the water's really up crazy high. Yeah. And they'll come in. Right, let's retake that. <laughs> well, excuse me, I just a fly if I straight down my throat then, so anyway. So yes, yeah, so uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, these fry will go into much warmer temperature than you'd ever imagine koi would be able to swim around and survive in. But anyway, so let's get the water on, Bill, and head back. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Like a geezer. So it stays at this speed for now until, and then... Yeah, probably this speed. Okay. And there we go. So this pond will now slowly start filling up over the course of the next few days and hopefully the Sanke will start to thrive in it. <laughs> <laughs>